Wholeness is bliss. And it's been bliss for a while. It's just the nature of wholeness. This is wholeness. So this is bliss. It's not as if someone is blissful. It's just everything is bliss. Bliss being that inexpressible, not understandable, well-being, happiness, warmth, and even more. For no one, it just is. Overflowing, full, complete, indescribable goodness. <laughs> Again, for no one, just wholeness. Being whole. And overflowing with wholeness. Exploding with wholeness. Dripping with wholeness. Swirling with wholeness. You name it. It's wholeness. Wholeness that's nameless. Wholeness that is everything. in its infiniteness, including nothing or no thing. It's unreachable by the one who reaches. It's Endlessly desirable by the one who desires. It's indescribably wonderful by the one who wonders. And that one that is no thing or no one that illusion that totally believes it's a separate being will never reach what it desires will never experience wholeness 
is incapable of being wholeness. So it must be nothing. It must be an illusion. An illusion that deludes itself into thinking it's a it's reality, into thinking it's something. And in that delusion, it misses everything by trying to be something. And all along, wholeness is whole without beginning, without ending. In its bliss, for everything, infinite bliss. For no one. 